Hello everyone, Crystal Fishy here. Welcome to Meteor Gorge, and today we are going to place Coco again. Meteor Gorge is the first level in the Baron homeworld, uh, or like, you know, realm, whatever you want to call it. Okay, this isn't Spyro, but yes, this level is pretty damn great. It was the level I tested out uh, to see if you guys wanted to see an LP of this and test out the quality, and, um, yeah, relatively lag-free. I've, I've been glad at the level of lag-free uh, gameplay I've been able to get. It's been like, like pretty much the whole LP now, pretty much since part one. Um, and it still looks visually pleasing, which is always good to see. So, here we are. Ready? Now, do you see those little crystals up there? So, this level showcases just how amazingly accurate Vicarious Visions and the team got to making this look like a Crash Bandicoot game. I mean, yes, okay, little objects of this, this is very similar to Polar Pass, for sure. But, it also kind of utilizes, I reckon, uh, sort of like areas from other crash games and kind of its own original style here you see it's kind of like an old it's um you know it's kind of like an old little like plant go, you know going along which is really nice um i just appreciate their efforts so much i really think that honestly they they got this so right they got this level so right it perfectly represents the crash bandicoot universe like the ice cap that you'd see that in crash one in fact I mean, in Crash uh, 2 and, you know, Crash Team Racing, you would see that. It's as simple as that. And it's something that I totally appreciate, um, as I keep saying. At this level, this game is such an appreciation game, like all oh, Let's Play for me. It's just constant, constant uh, happiness. I'm sure by the end of it, when the game gets, like, excruciatingly difficult, that I'll be starting to say, like, you know what, fuck this game, just fucking piss off. That's probably what I'm going to be like at the end with... And I do that with a lot of games, I just spit the dummies so hard, but I, even if I do, I'll be spitting the dummy and saying, like, fair play to you for making me get, get to breaking point, if you know what I mean. Um, but the second world is, yeah, it's like the ice world, um, where we've moved on from uh, Terra, which is the copycat world from, uh, you know, Australia, apparently, uh, as they imply. Um, but, and this world kind of had you know, it starts to get into its own, it starts to feel a bit more like, kind of like its own game, and less like a copy, but, you know, it still retains, it still feels similar, like this is similar to Polar Pass, you know what I mean, this takes aspects from Polar Pass, like the water here, and it's also kind of got the more inviting, sort of like bulky snow that um, Blizzard Bluff had as well, if, do you know what I mean, like it's kind of, it kind of utilises both techs from, um, it kind of uses both techs uh, rather than just one, oh wow, that's, that was awesome, wow. Yeah, it kind of uses, like, both types of ice, like, you know, um, what's that level? Blizzard Bluff kind of had, like, a more soft, softer ice, and, oh, shit, shit, shit. And then, uh, the other level kind of had, you know, um, Polar Pass kind of had a more, like, rough kind of vibe to it, I guess, if you want to use that word vibe. There we go, we're done. Beat it in 2 minutes 30, not too bad. Not too shabby at all. Okay, so the loading screen, we, we win, we are back in the main area. Coco's a, a good racer, actually. I quite like her. <laughs> what the hell is he like? <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, unlockables. I'm just curious as to how many unlockable characters there are. Like, if you could play as pure and all that. Like, I'm pretty sure they, they put it to a minimum only because of that bastard uh, um, Velo and everything. You get to play as those guys, which is... It, it, after performing a slide boost, the boost gauge will begin to fill up again. When it turns red, hit the boost button to get another more powerful boost. Three slide boosts in a row make a slide boost combo, which will give you maximum speed. Thank you, friend. Echo Echo, I, I did know that. I d have been doing that since day one, but yes. And I guess this world's kind of similar to the third world in CTR as well, but... Yeah, you know, I, I know, you, I'm going to be making comparisons the whole way, and actually, look, see that up there? That is the Homeworld Champion. Spoiler alert, actually, we're too late now. Anyway, in the next part, Baron Ruins. Ooh, hoo, hoo, is this maybe a, a uh, Rampage Ruins-esque level? Who knows? That's, thank you very much for watching, guys. See you in the next part.